Hello and welcome everyone to the new video and the topic for today is uh, deployment of parallel remote application server in Azure with the idea being to have a centrally managed deployment and publishing of uh, application from one single interface so that the clients they can access the application in a secure manner as if it is deployed locally on their computer. So let's get started and uh, I'm on my active uh, Azure subscription. If you want to try this out, you can try this by using the $250 free credit for the first one month. And from the left pane, what you have to do is you have to deploy the virtual machine from the marketplace. So click on the virtual machine and click on the add button. And under the search computer, you can just type in parallels and you can see parallel remote application server all in one that you'll be needing. Click on this and you can go through the brief description and you can also go through the quick start documentation which give you the architecture how to deploy this one. Uh, I will recommend uh, it is very handy and give you in detail uh, information about what are the behind the scenes components involved in that one. So uh, after you have gone through that, click on the create button. And here we will configure the uh, virtual machine. So let me start with uh, giving the name here. So let's give it to uh, demo application server and the VM disk type I will keep it SSD and uh, as you can see that uh, the uh, naming convention should be according to the Microsoft standard so let me just change this I'll make it demo parallels and VM disk type is SSD. Feel free to give any name, username. I'll use Girish in my case. I'll use pay as you go subscription. I will use the existing uh, resource group that I have with me. Just TD resource group and for the location there are multiple options available so in my case I will choose Canada Central because that is the closest to me and click on the OK button and now for sizing by default uh, Azure gives uh, DS2 version 2 uh, that is what is recommended but obviously it will change upon how many users and uh, what kind of uh, availability you want but I will select view all to see all the other option and for this demonstration I will select DS1 version 2 which has one core with 3.5 gig of RAM and click on select and here you can configure uh, different options so obviously if you're using for the production environment you can select availability set so basically in case one VM goes down you can have the other one up and running you can have uh, the extensions that enable to in case you want to have the antivirus malware and all those things but what I'll do is that I'll leave all those things to the default because this is just a demonstration so as you can see that it created its own virtual network uh, the public IP the NSG group so I'll leave this to the default and click on OK and you get a brief summary of the final validation which I will accept and under the buy it gives you the rough estimate of how much it's gonna cost to run this virtual machine in Azure and I'll click on purchase Now, if I expand the notification, you can see that the deployment is in progress. So it will take a, a minute or so. So we'll just wait till this virtual machine is deployed.
Perfect, so the virtual machine was deployed successfully. So let me connect to it and open the RDP session. Yes, I want to connect it. Yes. And now I have the RDP session with the machine running on Azure. And in the username, you can give the username RAS. And now this username and the password is on the quick admin guide, which I showed you initially. And the password is capital R at the rate lowercase s2017 with the exclamation mark. So use this username and password and connect to the remote application server. So just to remind this is the username and the password that I used. We will wait for the management console for the PAL remote application server to open. Here we go. So over here you can use and uh, play around with all the options that uh, can be used when it comes to uh, inviting the user uh, publish the application so all the options are available over here I would recommend you should play around with this one so if I go to the publishing you can see that uh, you have uh, a lot of options available Google Chrome accessories uh, Acrobat reader obviously you can create your customized application also over here let me just uh, minimize this now, in case you want to access this uh, parallel application server through the IP address, it's very simple. So what you can do is that under the setting, you can go to the network interface and uh, this is the public IP address that you'll be needing. So let me just go to and type in this. So it's 52.255.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
uh, I want to do in the paint application I can do that and uh, uh, use it so this video was uh, on how to deploy uh, parallel remote application server in Azure I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day